Welcome to a short video on importing Cadence designs into Altium Designer. In this short video, I will show you how to migrate your existing Cadence data into Altium Designer. Keep in mind, this video is a continuation of the series on importing designs into Altium Designer. A link to the overview video is provided in the video summary for more preliminary information. The first thing we need to talk about is some terminology. We will be using the terms ORCAD and Allegro. And by ORCAD, we basically mean ORCAD Capture. But that can also mean different branded Cadence products like ORCAD Capture CIS, Allegro Design Entry Capture, and Allegro Design Entry Capture CIS. The term Allegro is going to mean Allegro PCB Designer and ORCAD PCB Designer, basically files with the BRD extension. The source files we'll need from the ORCAD side will be the schematic files, which are the .dsn files. The library files, which have a .olb extension, can be brought over as well. However, they are the library files, which have a .olb extension, can be brought over as well. However, they are not required. To import any sort of ORCAD files, just point to the .dsn or .olb files directly. On the other hand, Allegro files require an ASCII version of the .brd file. We can't translate .brd files directly. This ASCII file is a .alg file. And this is created using a Cadence tool called Extracta. If you have the Cadence tools and Altium on the same machine, the Altium importer can run Extracta in the background. So all we need to do is point to the .brd file, and Altium will run Extracta in the background and create the .alg file for you. If you don't have Cadence and Altium on the same computer, you'll need to create the .alg file manually on the Cadence machine, then bring it over to the Altium machine. In order to do this, Altium provides a batch file called allegro to altium.bat. This file can be found in the system subdirectory of the Altium installation directory. The Altium installation directory. There are a number of files that have a .txt extension that are called allegro. As an example, allegro views.txt and a number of different allegro named files that you'll see in there. Grab all those allegro.txt files along with the .bat file and bring those over to the Cadence computer. Run the .bat file and point to the .brd file to translate it. And that will create a .alg file for you. Then bring that file to the Altium computer and then run the importer on that file. We currently support up to version 16x of the ORCAD and Allegro tools for translation. Now we'll go ahead and run a sample import of an Allegro and ORCAD design into Altium. First, we will go to the file menu and then the import wizard. Click Next, and we'll find our ORCAD designs and library files, and click Next. To add, to add our design file, we'll grab our .dsn file. Now, we don't need a library for this because the parts are cached within this file. However, if you do want to bring a library file over independently without the .dsn file, we can do that as well. For now, we will ignore this. Next, we'll go through the rest of the wizard here. In general, the defaults for these options are OK. If you want to go in and add things like auto position parameters so they move according to the parts, you can. However, most of these are generally OK. Libraries can be kept as independent libraries and not have them zipped up to a library package. Just leave those as is, and we'll go ahead and hit Next to the rest of these. This process is fairly quick. Obviously, more schematics means more time. The ORCAD process is now complete. A log file is generated, and you can review that if you'd like. Now, we will import the Allegro data. This is ran as a separate process, as it is a different translator. Let's go to the Import Wizard. Select Allegro Design Files this time around, and click Next. Then click Add. Now, we're going to select our .brd file, and then click OK. Once the importer is done analyzing the file, we will look at a few options. The one option that is helpful in disabling is Import Auto-Generated Copper Pour Cutouts. Leaving this turned on creates cutouts around edges that copper floods up against. If you're not going to make changes to the design, this is fine, but generally, you're importing the design to make changes. 
so it is usually best to turn this off and let the rules in the PCB handle these situations for you. Plain connects we can leave as direct connects. We can change those quickly once the design is imported if we'd like. Click next to start importing the layout into a PCB. This process can take a little time so we'll fast forward a bit here. couple of different projects, one for the schematic files generated when importing the .dsn or design files and one for our PCB layout. So we want to combine these two by moving the PCB into the same project as the schematics. In Altium, we can move files between projects by simply dragging the file to the new project. However, this does not move the file to the same directory on our hard drive. So we will first copy the file to the same project directory as our schematics by right clicking on the PCB file in the projects panel and choosing explore. Then we will copy this file and move it to the project folder that we would like to copy this to by right clicking and choosing paste. Now the PCB is in the same project folder as our schematic files and we just need to add it to the project in Altium. Returning to Altium Designer, let's close the project that had the PCB. Now. Right click on the main project file and select add existing to project. Browse to the PCB file we just copied into this project folder and select it. So now we have the schematic files and the PCB file in the same project. Now as mentioned in our overview video there will always be some cleanup that will need to be done. However we will take a look at some cleanup here to cover the basics and make it a complete project. First. Taking a look at the schematics and the PCB files to make sure those were brought in nicely. Now to make this project complete, we need to link the schematics components to their corresponding parts on the PCB. Altium handles these links using a unique ID. These are basically serial numbers that are assigned to the components. As an example, R1 on the schematic would have the same number as R1 on the PCB, R2 to R2, etc. When importing the designs, these unique IDs are not assigned the same as they are translated separately. So we will need to manually synchronously synchronize them. This is done on the PCB side by going to Project and then Component Links. Now you can see that these are unmatched as all the components are in the unmatched columns. In a normal design flow, these are matched automatically when running an ECO and adding the components to the PCB. Since these were imported separately, this was not done automatically. In order to link them, we can do this by clicking Add, Pairs, Matched By, and leaving the designators selected to use the designators to match them. We assume the designators are correct since this was most likely a completed design. So we'll click Add, Pairs, Matched By, and that will match up the components. Now if you do have items that are unmatched, this would require some investigation as to why. Once they're moved over to the match side, we can click Perform Update and we'll be notified with the links that get modified. Now one more check to verify good import and we can continue with cleaning up the design. Let's make sure the net information has populated on the PCB. This can be done by simply zooming into the PCB and taking a closer look at the tracks, pads, vias, etc to make sure net names have been propagated. From here, you should be able to do cleanup and move the design towards updating. Keep in mind, there are some items that you may want to change for completeness. As an example, changing off-sheet connectors to ports, or different power symbols, etc. However, these changes and updates are also up to you. Thank you for watching this video for Cadence Migration into Altium Designer. I hope this video has been helpful.